Hello folks, welcome to Gatehead Forum 22 Crossplay. This is Matt by MG Monica by Marv. And yeah, for so first of all, perfect timing. We got some RAF jets, RAF, RAF jets flying across. But yeah, so this map created by MG Modding, converted by Marv. It is 789.47 megabytes of download. And this is the crossplay version. There is a PC version, but of course, we're doing the console and crossplay version. And first of all, first impressions of this map. It is an absolute stunner of a map. I mean, I've gone around, done a couple of notes now. Done tests on a couple of things to make sure everything was working, no bugs, no issues in that. And yeah, so I'll come across a couple of things as we we'll go around I sorry explain more. So this is a Scottish map, it's a fictional map, and so first of all, let's go over the description and then we we'll get ahead with going through the farm because this is an absolute stunner, beautiful British map and Perhaps the best British map, or even just the best map in general in FS22. Definitely up there with the top 5 maps in the game at least. But anyway, the description goes as following. Welcome to Gatehead Farm 22. Gatehead Farm is a fictional map based around Scotland. The map includes the following. 137 fills, varying from small, medium and large. There is 8 farms, 3 yards, BGA, dairy production, oatable campsite, New Holland dealership, animal market and 11 cell points. All farm sheds were made by MJ Modding. There is custom road traffic, custom te road textures, multi-terrain angles. There is multi-fruits that says contributions for this will be in the mod description. But yeah, we've got 18, and I mean 18, new crop types out, and they are as following. Alfalfa, beans, buckwheat, chickpeas, lentils, linseed, millet, mustard, onion, Peas, poppy, rye, silage, sorghum, spelt, triticale, red and white clover, and that is it, I think. As goes as following Benj FS for the base textures, but Bill contribute to the wheat, barley, oat, and canoe textures. All crops have tire track damage, interestingly. There is a hundred collectibles on the map, so they're the base game ones that you find, so 10 different items in that. All cow and pig farm features, manure heaps inside the sheds. All sheep need straw ass bedding. Rain sounds on shed roofs. Lanes are covered when snow falls, and winter weather includes both rain and snow. The base game only so has winter. Oh, sorry. Base game only so. Only has snow for winter. <laughs> sorry, got confused there. Custom made hedges made by Marv. Many animated details for both and small large. There is Scotch number plates, a forestry area, custom crop growth calendar based on the UK growth timings, which is an absolute beaut. Water pressure at the lake, river, and ocean. DLC crops has been built in, so that is the premium expansion DLC, so that is the carrots, parsip, and red beet. However, you'll need to download this the DLC itself to have the ability to harvest them because there is no pre-placed or any kind of custom machines that can harvest them or plant them so just a little note on that and then as it says custom animal feed hope you all enjoy this map so yeah that is the description and that is an absolute bonker of a description so yeah as we were mentioning yeah 11 new crop types three bonus ones with the premium dlc but yeah, also on the map there is many contracts, as you expect with 137 fields. And if I had to first of all pick a, another map this comes very close to, I've got to say it's very close to Bay Spring by Irish Connor Nat, because that was an awesome map I played on. I've done this space series on it until I got the massive update, the revamped update. I knew it was coming in that, but yeah, it re completely rebonked the map and this has a very similar vibes to it so obviously this is a british map so you do have your british sheds in that british farmhouse in that and yeah so first of all i'm gonna do is as always split everything into sections in that time to be down below so yeah let's go over slot count and start equipment so on farm manager and start from scratch slot count is 946 
Now it's basically without all the equipment. You can get the stock count down a little bit lower. I got down to 941 by removing one of the animal pens on another farm net. But yeah, so things I've noticed, deleted animal pens are extremely difficult. Not all of them can be sold. So yeah, just a thing to know on that. But yeah, also there is hedgerows in that. So you can't remove fences that you can't remove, so can't get a slot count down that way. But our new farmer, which we're on, it is 1101, so you do have all of the certain equipment you will need. So that is slot count. And yeah, so on new farm mode, you start off with plots 2 and 49. So 49 contains fields 61 and 65. And then plot 2 contains fields 1, 3, 25, 6, 7 and 8. And yeah, so we got a chicken coop on the main farm. Along with some cows. But yeah, so we got a grain silo, fuel tank and then the farmhouse. But yeah, let's go over your starting equipment. So there we go. As I mentioned, slot count is 1101. For your medium tractors, you've got the Massey Ferguson MF6718S, John Deere 7810. For your combine harvester, you got the Deutsch for Top Liner 1490H. That comes with the Top Liner header and header trader. You got the Class Carrot 140D trader, a Agrimass PAW 5XL plow, horse cultivator. A Amazon Power Harrow with the Cedar Net. Spray, you got the Hardy Mega 1200L. You do have a Surrey Tank with a Dispeer, the Shorten or Shouten. Mowers Net, you got the Kuhn GMD 4411. You got the Kuhn GF8712 for the Tether and a Samzaz Z2840H for your Wind Rover. And for your Baylor, you've got the Kuhn VB3190. Top of that, you got a bell loader, the Farm Tech one. You also do have the Solid King Trade Line 4.0 Premium, and as you can see, that has all the new crop types now that you can fill because you could do clover hay now, you could do fermented clovers and that, you could do a whole lot. On top of that, you got a straw blower and a water tank. Got a front loader with a bucket, pallet fork, and bell spike. And then lastly, you got the 600 kilogram 10 wing hole FGB weight. So, yeah, that is slot count and starting equipment. And yeah, first of all, we're going to tour again along with where you start on new farm. Mode. We'll start touring the main farm net. So, this is your house. I'm going to have the help menu open up on the left as we go around. So, yeah, there is a entrance. And you can actually interact in the farmhouse that so it's not just you know pasted on or just a blank space and that inside. And you've got a little workshop air in that. And you also yeah, you've got light switches and that so you can turn your lights on. Laundry room. And then if you head upstairs, go ahead to your seat trigger. Okay, that's I think that's the jet's going over again. But yeah, so seat trigger is just here. Actually, yeah, also, do I have my interactive markers? Yeah, so... I was going to have that on, so yeah, seat trigger is here. Yeah, nothing in that room. Got a rudimentary bathtub. Missing a couple of details now on the bathtub, I will admit. Again, the things like that, that I'm going to gloss over. So yeah come out of the farmhouse and then yeah so you got your main farm over here also you got space for your chickens so yeah you don't have any animals to start off with but you also get some chickens now just see how they look so yeah they're all around the back garden not too bad not too bad indeed so feed trough is here so yeah it is British map so things like spaces come at a luxury but yeah, nice sand into the gate. Got your gate head farm sign just over there. And if you head across, I thought I was a collectible then, nope. 
So yeah, got some of your equipment over here. But yeah, as you go around, proper British farm nets. So yeah, got your slow nets for your diesel tank, bell loader net, your John Deere with some animal feeds, ready to go. But yeah, so there is some new fuel types that I'll go over that in a sec. But yeah, open the gates. Yeah, we've got your cows in that. Nice little cow shed to be fair in that. If not a base keen one, but it is a very good one to say the least. But yeah, I have no spell. The dialogue box areas ain't as where it points out to, so again, just a little thing that so let's get some cows in. So yeah, sort of see how they look. Obviously, since we're Scotland, we should be doing Angus and that. Some nice Scottish Angus cows. Yeah, and here is how they look. Not too bad, not phasing through the ground, but phasing through the gate, so... Hmm. Yeah, into the fields. Not too bad, not too shabby. And yeah, so yeah, here is one you're collectible. So there's a hundred of those to look for. And if we go into your animal, so chickens and that are basics. Now, grains, not an issue. However, for your cows and that, they do need mainly TMR and that to get the 100% effectiveness. You can do just silage and that will give them a 85% effectiveness. If you want fresh forage crops and that, that is 50%, so that's basically your, your chaff and that. And then your fodder, so if I think that is, ah, oh, I think that's your, I'll try to think of the word, what it is, so, not slice sorghum in that, so, if I go to our, but yeah, I think that means things like your hay in that, anything that comes up over here, so yeah, again, you can do like horse grass, silage and hay, silage sorghum, as you already mentioned, Onions you can do as well. But yeah, beans, rye, like things like your fermented alfalfas and that. So that's what I think it means, like the fodder. So yeah, fermented clover, fermented, and all that. I do have the premium DLC installed in that. Just sort of have a little look with it potentially, but yeah, I don't think I need it in that. But anyway, so that is the main farm, and then yeah. Also, come around here. I forgot to mention. Got your bunker slows over here. And then heading over here. Got more spaces for your equipment. More spaces over there. Your trays and that are outside. And yeah, again, just more little areas. Yeah, more collectibles. But yeah, so I am on Nash Gen console, so. I have noticed it is a bit stuttering at times, you know, with the whole, just in general, going around and that, so, yeah, that's, I'm on that gen, yeah, sort of see, there is some, um, not stuttering, there's, um, yeah, a bit of new FPS and that, so, again, it is what it is now, but really it's just for, like, the main farm areas, once you start going out to the fields and that, it's not as much as an issue net. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just quickly tab over that. So that is the main farm area. Now to go over the PDA. So as I mentioned, there is 137 fields. Fields do come in cluster grumps, grumps or groups in that. So yeah, you can purchase some individual fields. But yeah, as you can see, Prices that are very consistent, around the two to three hundred grand mark. You can go to the hundreds, one hundred and fifty grand. But also, you can purchase the exterior of the map and all the roads and buildings and that between the some of the production lands, the coast of that, and that is for what four and a half mil. Will that give you anything bonus? No, it won't. But again, just a little thing in that. But yeah, so before I go over cell points and that, as you can see, we got three 
crop types and that. So three pages of crop types. So yeah, expected, expected. But yeah, things like the red beets, carrot, and parsnips that came onto the map without needing the premium expansion. Then yeah, also you got your rye. So yeah, I don't think anyone has planted rye on this map so far. No, but things like you got your millet, poppy, mustard, beans, peas, lentils, alfalfa, red clover, white clover. Again, I don't think anyone's done that, but maybe again that's something I'll look into because yeah, full as I was going around, just having a look at some bits in general on that. I thought Again, this would be a good let's play map to do. Even if it's just less than a month left to FS25 and that comes out. But yeah, so without further ado, don't know why I've just done that, but anyway, so going over to PD and that again, so yeah, prices now aren't too bad in that. So yeah, all your farms are mainly up here, so plot 56 is one farm. So that would be your pig farm. And then the second farm, the Peter Head farm, is a sheep farm. Plot 54, that's going to be your North Cow farm. So, yeah, diesel tank on that farm. Yep, diesel tank again. So, yeah, with some of these farms, they do come with seat triggers and that. I should have think none of them do that, but again, you can put your seat triggers if you wish. Another farm down here, that's going to be your horse pastures and that. And then, yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, you've got our main farm here, seven. And farm eight is on plot 19. And that is yourself, cow farm. So, yeah, different cow farms. So, of course, so yeah, different farms can do different animals and that. And as you expect, you've got the animal pens unlocked there, or potentially unlocked. There goes the RAF once again. And this is not as annoying as the helicopter on No Man's Land, that is a bonus. But yeah, it turns with where everything is, so that's what we'll look at when we get around to the map tour. But yeah, so on the left, you've got your dairy. Shop is just here, as you may have noticed earlier on. And the dealership. BJ Net 99 kilowatts, Springside stores. So yeah, that's gonna be things like your grains and that. Then yeah, got your sawmill, wood chip cell point. Got your gatehead stores and that. So again, that's gonna be another good grain cell point. That's the main farm. Then yeah, going towards the coast and the port. Got your global shipping grains, Warfield point, seafront. Global fiber shipping, diesel tank or fuel tank, and then your gate, sorry, gatehead foods and that. And yeah, farmer's market is up here. So yeah, there, these are those, um, what's it, farms and that. But yeah, another water field type is just here. And yeah, the third one or the main one you probably, most people would use is this one here. And yeah, these are very user friendly in that, which can't be said for everything on the map because this map is not worker friendly at all. I've had issues with getting workers that to go in that. Also, things like yeah, the FPS and that is what is what it is in that, but again, for me, that doesn't really affect it too much. But yeah, again, some negative caveats. I'll just want to quickly mention that before we get onto the map tour. So, so far we've done slot counts, PD and that, toward the first farm and that, so I think without further ado, I think yeah, we've got a couple of tractors, don't we, so what's the fastest, the Massey, so we'll hop into the Massey, drop the weight, so yeah, we are starting here, and yeah, when we come out, I think what we'll do is First of all, go south, look out what I'm going to call Farm 2, and then eventually loop around. I'm not sure if there's a path across here. Now, I don't think there is, 
But there is a couple of things, a couple of alleyways and that, you can use in that potentially in that. But yeah, so I am going to try to keep this map tour as precise as possible, so come out of here. And yeah, there may be sections where I will cut bits and that. But yeah, start off with, just look at that view. Like, looking around, I am in absolute awe now, like, absolute beautiful. Very well detailed. One way system down there. Perhaps that's where we should be going in the theory in that. But yeah, I just go dodd around. There you got your farmhouses and that. Also, yeah, double check I've got traffic on. There is traffic in that. So, commonly you get the French cars and that. That will spawn on the main roads. But yeah, touch on that worker thing like. Once it's in the field, it's not a problem with the workers and that, but besides from that, there's some minor issues in that, so we'll pull up to here. And then, yeah, so enter farm number two. So, yeah, South Cal Farm. Actually, I've got to say, some of this does look like um, Oak Hill, it does, by. Was it Lancy Boy Nat? Who did Oak Hill or was it So yeah, apologies for that delay, but yeah, the map I was speaking of was Oak Hill formed by Lancy Boy, but yeah, it's not on FS19 mod I think because Lancy Boy removed was mods from Mod Hub, not just from FS22, but also from FS19. But it makes that little side track side. So yeah, here we're at Farm 2 Nat. So yeah, again, workshopping that, fuel point that, so Again, we start off with pretty much any of the eight farms, all in various sizes and that, so you can get super creative that. But without further ado, let's go back into our tractor. And what I'm going to do first of all is just turn off some settings. So yeah, automatic engine start. Yeah, that's what I want to turn off, so yeah, we leave the tractor on. But yeah, put the beacons back on. Oh yeah, I'm using the tractor to drive around just because it very suits the area that. Last thing I want to do is go sh flying around, so that was farm two. Oh yeah, I think what we'll do is head up, and then we'll sort of head towards the coast, and then we'll sort of loop up north at the main farms, and then we'll sort of finish off at the dealership. So yeah, we'll come down here, go to the BJ, the and the dealership and then yeah finish off at the dealership because that is a nice f nice way to do things may also yeah since we're here do I see any of the new crop types here so we got I think that's barley no barley or oats that is but yeah I had to look around at some of the new crop types and I need to look at the textures that do look I won't say too different to what you expect in that. But yeah, field 8, that is one of the new crops, so that is lentils, right, by the looks of it. Yeah, so that is lentils. And yeah, that is right to harvest, so yeah, you do get the difference in the textures and that. But not with all of them that, so. But anyway, so as we head along up here, yeah, so we're taking the views now, and once we get away from the main farm area, the frame rate does improve now. Like at the moment, you sort of see minor stutteriness as we're approaching the farm, with all the, like, the forest trees and that. But yeah, it does improve. So yeah, I said we'll go up here, hook a right, and then yeah, go to the town, not the town, the poor area. But yeah, as I said. This is something I want to do a let's play on, but fortunately tied up with the 10,000 cow challenge and that, and as well as the Rags to Riches series. I may stream this, I was speaking of the Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina map, Oop, wrong side of the road. Yeah, it's Bosnia and Herzegovina map by Sedabuki, but we can actually, something like this is actually ain't too bad, because, yeah, even though I'm playing on the British map at the moment, have like a proper type British map in that, you know, small fields in that. Because, yeah, when driving around, again, I did test a few things, and that's how I captured the thumbnail for the map tour. 
that was by, yeah, using the horse for that, driving around the back roads and that. It's also down for the roundabout. And yeah, turns with like, you know, the combines and that, the heads and that. You can't get much... Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was going to go straight on there, but no, that's a field there. So pay attention to where it's going. Uh, can we head down here? I think actually, yeah, we'll head down here to the beach and that, so... There is bollards and that, but I think we'll just go navigate around. Oops. Maybe we should be up here and that, with the tractor and that. But can I get on to the beach? go. Wheelie up. And there we go, on the beach. But yeah, handles not too bad on the beach. The beach does actually look nice and that. But yeah, so I think what we'll do is, we're going to at the beach, <laughs> nothing is down here and that, so, so yeah, we'll go into drone mode, have a little quick look at the beach down here. But again, nothing's like this and that does add, yeah, adds that immersion to it. Oh, look at that wreckage and that. Mind the glitchiness and that, but for what it is, when you're viewing it from a distance, not too bad. But yeah, also you'll find collectibles on the beach. But yeah, so I was trying to think of what I was to say, but yeah, things like with the working widths and that. Can we get back on here? Yeah, about eight and a half meters and that is about what you can get away with and that. Maybe you can get away with some of the draper headers and that if you fling around everywhere in that, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that is down to you and that. I probably just had a little hiccup, so anyways, we are at the port, so your ward fill point is just over here, so back up and that with your train and that. Oh dear. Steady on. Oof. Wow! <laughs> that deer is just literally going absolutely bonkers. I was going to say donkers, no, absolute bonkers and that. There we go again, into the war it goes. <laughs> but yeah, so I think this is going to be a while well, your cell points, right? Dang it, too close to the icon. But yeah, so global green shipping and that, so... Yeah, I forgot to mention the cell points and that, so... Because yeah, I did go over them briefly and that. You do have cell points for everything apart from a couple of things like liquid fertilizer and that, but overall, everywhere has somewhere where you can put items into. So you have multiple stores in that shipping area, farmers market, so there are fairly distributed around the, around the map. But also I noticed, what was it? Yeah, horse grass hay. Compared to just normal grass and grass silage, that is worth a fair bit. There goes those jets again. Well, anyways, back into here and that. Actually, I think I may have already got any cell points to that. It's been, what, half an hour, an hour or so since the last segment I did when I was thinking about um, Oki or Farm and that. Because, yeah, I was like, looking on the mod hub and that. And, yeah, anyways. Here we are at the crane area. So, it's again, it could be in your another cell point area. Like, how just this looks like it's absolutely impressive and that. So,. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I was going to go straight through that. Anyways, tab over. Yeah, do sort of have collisions, so just be a bit wary. But yeah, so you load into here, and then, yeah. All these sort of simulates of, you know, gets creamed and then transported. But even as well, on that gen as well, yeah. Minor state frame rate drops now, maybe to about, what? 30, 20 FPS now. About 20 FPS at times. But overall, it's actually not too bad. The result point area just over there. Oop. I used to play on American maps lately and doing the wrong way. But yeah, also, yes, yeah, all the screenshots and that. Are those dynamic lights or. Yeah, pretty sure they're going to be like static, right? But yeah, things like that. Traffic lights. Don't really see them that. But anyways, got in sidetracked once again, so I'm gonna pull over here. So yeah, in the screenshots and that, this saw this porch and that, or not porch, the pier and that. 
And it's used proper right arm now. So, again, actually, uh, do I do a thumbnail here that said? I already got one already captured up with the jets and that. But yeah, so any collectibles out here? Nope, fair enough. Oh no, there is. Yeah, I was gonna go around all the collectibles and that, but you know, they are very sparse and that over the map and that. Oops. Sorry. Come on, out of the way. Fucking move, thank you very much. But yeah, so moving on from the port era, so well, your gas station over here, of course, on console, it's an unbranded one. But something like this in real life could be a shell, could be an SO. Because, yeah, it's definitely not a supermarket brand one. So, yeah, things like SO, shell. This is what you're perhaps more common to, or even BP in that. I'm probably seeing more shell maybe in that because of the yellow in that, but that's what I'm basing it on. So, yeah, anyway, so far. Again, I'm on the wrong side of the road, but ignore that. So, we'll go up the coast again. And yeah, we'll serve a hook, a left, go past the horse pasture area, so that's going to be farm number three. And then yeah, we may stop by the forest market and that, look at the spinnery. But yeah, I may try to, so again, not gloss over the farms now, we'll go to every farm, view them, have a little walk around in that. Because yeah, again, there's all the segments in the map tour and that, so description, not description, time stamps that will be for each thing. But yeah, so overall that, so far in that, perhaps what, maybe being on this map for what, over an hour or so, hour and a half? Getting a lot of it is just going around, you know, making f sure things work in that. Um, you mind? Actually, yeah, I just went to turn around, turn left here and that, so. But anyway, so heading up now. I one thing I would have loved to see that is actual British cars, not just the usual French. Two CVs and that. I know they're part of the Ube rune and that. Uh, what's it map in that base game? But yeah, something like that with FS25. Now we're getting new NPCs and that. That is interesting, to say the least. In that. Anyways, here we are at the farmers market. Oops, axe not over the barrels. <laughs> My bad. But yeah, just everything is well done in that. Like, again, all the, the unique assets and that used to build in this and that. And also a good thing about this map, no required mods. See, so ain't that hard. Oh, actually, yeah. I know I'm bashing a little bit. I don't didn't mean to be a bit harsh there. But yeah, just a lot of maps recently just having required mods in that. Or hidden required mods. And that really arts me a lot at us, but anyways, that's going to be for an individual video, maybe. But yeah, here we are at farm number three, and this is going to be your horse pasture farm and that, so... Is it really a farm now or farm yards? I'll say call it a farm now, because you can, again, see, use this store equipment that, got sheds and that. So yeah, let's go and get the horses in. But yeah, also, again, with the dollar box areas. It's not always as you expect it, it's going to be like in the field, ain't it? Uh, <laughs> where is he triggered at? No, some of these triggers are a bit iffy in that. But yeah, war and feed that. Yeah, I'm guessing they work in that. I know a lot of the feed triggers in that did work, but... Ah, uh, things like that. Yeah, things I'm discovering now, like, where is the trigger for the horses? So yeah, it means I don't know exactly where the trigger for this is. But yeah, so let's go on the board of horses, 14 horses. And then we can have a look at our animals, so if we go to our horses. So yeah, they require a mixture of root crops, base feed, grass and root crops, 52% grass. What's that? 80, 90, like 500, yeah, the math does add up, but yeah, it just seems a bit weird. And yeah, pigs as well, seems to be normal in that, or at least normal-ish in that. But anyway, so that is farm number three, and yeah, these other farms don't have seat triggers in that. So yeah, no icons popping up, and there's no personal in that for it. 
However, you got things like the sleeping bag bar. I think it's use modding or shops modding. One of those two now. Again, stick to the right side of the road, which is the left side of the road. But yeah, the sleeping bags are out, mobile seat points, mods and that, so. And away, something that does make sense because otherwise you're going to have issues with, again, t increasing the slot count and just increasing the amount of assets and that already in the map. So yeah, we'll go up here and then, yeah, this will lead to farm number four and that. So yeah, again, I'm to sort of check the PDA now because I haven't really known down the directions and that. But yeah, take in that absolute sudden views. Yeah, it just feels very at home in that. I love the exterior of the map as well. Obviously something that is custom. Another, um, what's it, collectible just there by the bus stop and that. But yeah, farm number four. And yeah, got a derelict um, excavator in that. Nice shit in that. Actually, yeah, that is very good, actually. Oh well, yeah, alright, yeah, there's another shit in that. And that actually works well. And also, yeah, they've got some outside the lights for some of these buildings, right? So, yeah, sort of got that easy this to it as well. Again, another collectible in that. So, yeah, these collectibles are very easy to find in that. So, I don't think this one is an animal farm, right? No. So, 390 grand, you get three, no, sorry, four grassland areas, and then. Guessing that, yeah, sugar beet that is on 95. <clears throat> so, yeah, go to drone mode and that. So, 91, 92. Ah, yeah, hedgerows and that aren't removable as well. I think I've already mentioned it, but again, for a quick reiteration. And yeah, got sugar beet field just over here. So, yeah, all the fields are decent that. They're all reasonably sized, I'd say. So, yeah, obviously, you got your diesel tank. I'll hold 50,000 years, was it? Yeah, 50,000 years, not too bad for the price of that, to be fair. But anyways, so we're back out of here. Onto the main roads, and then onto farm number five. Sorry, right, yeah, I was going to sort of skip along, but yeah, full stop by you hearing that. Construction that, on the way that. And funny enough, with the recent announcement of the construction projects and that for FS25, you know, you can make your own construction items and that, like your own buildings. Or it's gonna be something like you know how it is with the platinum DLC with things like the boats and that. Yeah, I doubt that it's gonna be exactly like the Roku snap because that's all locked behind the DLC and I don't think so runs coming to the base game. Maybe come as a additional add on as part of the season pass or something like that down the road, but part by size from that I'm not sure now. Anyways, farm number five, I think this is. See so yeah, once again, pull over in that. So, this farm here. Actually, yeah, so we've got two farms here. So, we've got a yard farm here. So, this is your North Cow farm. And then, yeah, we'll go to the other one. So, yeah, very similar to the one we had at the main farm where we started off with. Just, yeah, different layout. But yeah, many of these about. Obviously, these are just placeable objects and that, but it does bring that home in this way, to be fair. Workshop and that just over here. And yeah, a lot of these buildings will have you know, little workshop base and that, where you can just pull in that. But yeah, I do like the use of, again, yeah, the English buildings. It does suit very well. And uh, yeah, so the trigger for, yeah, dialer box, see, yeah, again, right here on the edge of the sable where it should be, well, if it is here, fair enough, just move the icon, please. Yeah, I think that's going to impact the score, so it'll be a 5 out of 5 map and that, but it is very close, I think. At the moment, the average is, what, 4.0, on these on the crossplay version. So yeah, there are minor teething things with the map and that. Yeah, I'll get on mid to that. But yeah, just think maybe an update in that is needed in that. However, would Giants actually update it and will Giants actually upload the correct save file and will actually Giants, Giants just care in that because 
yeah, that's a whole different issue on its own. Something I want to do a video on at some point, but yeah, I'm going to go to a ranty pants moment on that. But if you see the recent comments by Superfight 842 and that, you know, the sort of co partner with Morris Mission Map and that, and just other mods and that, that are used with the issues with, the, with him having get mods retested at the moment, and just in general mods and that. Trying to shoot some mods in that, but yeah, I'm not getting touched too much. But yeah, look at Superfly 842. Done a recent community post about four or five hours ago as I'm recording this at what 10 o'clock at night on Friday. But, anyways, my version once again. Try not to be too empty of my map tours and give in, you know, too much of a sort of a not procrast procrastination. Uh, yeah. Just random waffle on that. But yeah, so that was Farm 6, I think that was. But yeah, head back down here once again. But yeah, things like these tight things and that, so you can have, again, as I mentioned, massive combines and that, because they just simply won't fit on British roads and that. Again, look at the pictures in real life and that, you know, how tight our UK roads are. Like, these are tight and these are huge tractors in real life, just FS scale sort of dwarfs it a little bit in that, but yeah, these are huge in that. Even things like the verges, like the verges here in real life in that. Will you have something like this in real life? Possibly. But again, it's, a lot of times it's being like elevated on the edges and that. Because, yeah, we get roads and that made and that, they sort of push the dirt to the side. So, yeah, the dirt's got to go somewhere. But anyways, here we are in a little suburban area. Possible areas for a nice pub in that. So, yeah, you got your water fill mark just over here in that. So, like with the other ones, you literally drive to it and then, yeah, you fill up in that. So... So yeah, this should just drive along here and then boom, fill up, not a problem. The icon says it's down there, but if you up over here, should be fine. But yeah, I like the little cover on that. Absolutely nice. Again, just little things like that, just the details of it. Definitely ups the notch on maps. Like, again, how maps should be, I think, personally. So yeah, water fill point, water fill point there. So there's two there. And yeah, I think I want to go to the sheep farm now, so that involves, yep, yeah, go along here, along the draw carriageway in that, take the exit, and then, yeah, we'll go up, so you've got one farm here, sheep farm over here. So yeah, actually, yeah, let's see this draw carriageway, because yeah, I did have a little glimpse of the draw carriageway system on here, but, yeah, again, it's not a massive draw carriageway system, but, hey, I appreciate the draw carriageway when I see it. Ah, yeah, I did have a contract and it just accepted because, yeah, when we get to the store net, I will show you again how things load up in the store net. Because, yeah, that is interesting with the store net, especially like, when you go and purchase new equipment. I really show the normal menu net. Does something a bit different, but getting ahead of myself there a little bit. So, yeah, I'm taking the exit here on the left. So, come out of here. Let these two cars go. But yeah, that's I'll look at that in a sec because that is yeah, it is a fixed place, it ain't nothing dynamic. Again, wrong side of the road. Being uh, being uh, what's the word? Converted by the American styles of driving. Indoctrinated, but yeah. Anyways, this is farm number seven. So yeah, pull over here and that. So yeah, I think yeah, the entrance is just up here and that. Yeah. But yeah, I think if I was gonna do a live stream on it on this map and that live stream series and that. I think I may pick this one here. Yes, yeah, so it's got pigs and that, but yeah, again, pigs that be something a bit different than that. So yeah, dialogue box is just here, not here. Yeah, things like that, just move the icons and that. But yeah, plenty of open spaces and that. 
And also, I want to mention about some things and that it's hard to sell items. So, yeah, you can sell some of the animal pens, but not all of them when I found out when set things up. So, if I say get rid of the pigs and that, obviously, this will remove a couple of slot camps. Much? No, not really. So, yeah, just find the trough now, like with um, Court Farm and that. Pardon me. Yeah, find the trough, click on it, and boom, sold. So, now that is a shit area. Obviously, this little flap here, yeah, no real use to it. And again, you got the manure plate over here. Because, yeah, many of these buildings and that, hedges, as I already mentioned, you can not remove. So, again, a bit of a word of warning. Will it be to everyone's cup of tea? For most people, I'll say no. I think that's why at the moment it's got an average rating of 4 because. Yeah, I think, again, I think just a lot of people just get accustomed to things being made easy for them. And I'll say that unless I've done that hill. Because we get all into it. Things are made a hell of a lot easier than that in this game. Come on, you ship a cart. Move. Oh, for fuck's sake. Move. No, you're not moving. Oh, keep okay, minor road reach there. Hey, I've got a massive, massive, massive here in that. So, a tractor versus a car. I think I'll win in that fight, especially if I got an implement on there. But yeah, I can't remember what I was saying, but anyway, so we're up to farm 8 now. So yeah, we're coming across that, going up to farm 8 now. And then yeah, as I mentioned, we'll come out of here, go down this way, up to the BGA in that, and then we'll finish off at the store. Because yeah, again, we'll try to keep this map tour short, sweet, excise, and to the point, not just waffling on as I always do that. But yeah, for me, that's just how I am. Sometimes I waffle all along. When it comes to map tours and that, if I see things like that I like it, I'll say it. <laughs> and if I don't like it, especially with the recent map tour I've done, um, was it the 1xA map in that Greenwood Forest, I think it was? Yeah, that I made my opinions vocal on that. But yeah, still give it a high rating. That's just because I am passionate when it comes to maps, mods and that. Because yeah, this ain't a job I do for a living, but I treat it as a job and that. I act as work and that, so here we're at the sheep farm, so actually get to the sheep farm. Uh I'll go down this path. So yeah, where we were earlier than that. Yeah, I was meant to come along that way. Cause yeah, full. Yeah, if you come along on this path here, there's gonna be you know the path that leads to it, but new. Unless there's like a back access to a field and that. If not, then yeah, I think I'll just teleport to it rather than you no know, mess about because yeah, ain't no got time for that. So yeah, fair enough. We'll go just try teleport over like so. So yeah, you meant to come along the other way, so come along this dirt track and that. Again, I've got to say, it's all well done that. I like all the signs and that. Absolute love and jolly. Flock number 10. It's just everything's been well done. Everything's high detailed and that. Very realistic and that. Because yeah, this does resemble a real-life British farm. Soils and that, yeah, it's a bit of a hit and miss and that with the silos, but you can do it with, with what you call the truth assets and that. But yeah, all the buildings and that, really sick and that. Love the sounds of the animations and that. How's the sheep looking? Not too bad, just checking if they're not phasing through. I mean, it's hard to tell with the, the thick, thick grass, but so we're getting the point of it. So yeah, overall, not too bad, that is farm 8, so... So far we've done the port, we've done the four main farms. So yeah, done this one, one right section, right section, upper right, and all that, up north now. Now it's time to go down south. So yeah, let's look at that little tractor and pick up there, so... So yeah, that is interesting, to say the least. 
So here we're at the field with a fence tractor. It's got a plow on that. But yeah, this is just fixed in place. Even though it's a real vehicle now, you see it's registered in that. I have to go into the PDA, head over here, sort of see, yep, fence to fire you over there. Obviously to pick up on that is just generic. That looks like a Mitsubishi, uh, was it L200? Nice little pick up in that. Nice pick up, I'm not sure what you're calling out for, for that. Okay, actually got a bit of blocking traffic. But yeah, I thought you should do a quick stop and that, thinking, well, first of all, I'm like, that is slice again, something different than that. And again, we have the whole NPCs and that coming to FS25 to have, you know, like dynamic workers that in other fields now, or dynamic farmers and that, NPCs and that. That would be the absolute bomb on that. But anyway, so here we are at the dairy. And that is out. You can purchase the land individually. And recipes, yeah, they do look, do look generically base game now. So I thought we'd just a little quick stop. But yeah, like, let's look off the house park areas now. Rather than just a square box now. It's actually properly marked out. It's something you may see here in the UK now. But let me head down now. So we've looked at that. So yeah, really, it's just the BGA and the store now. So. Get to the BJ, have a quick look at that, and yeah, from there, head to store and that, show a few things off in the store now, and yeah, I think after that, I will maybe look at some of the crops and that, drill into the ground, maybe, depends on how long the map tour is, whether I include that. But yeah, again, too much I like to sort of see and show things I call all 18 new crop types and that, but something like that will be. <laughs> in its own video on its own that sounds obviously will this be a popular map I think so yes in general again on the runs of the roads I will remember eventually that even though it takes an hour off doing the map tour and that but yeah so the BGA is just down here to the right and the dealer is just over to the left that's where you obviously buy your animals and that so we'll have a little glance at that let me see. indicators on. There we go. Traffic is clear. And again, yeah, depends on where you're looking at. Things like in that direction. Oof. Tractor tipped over. But yeah, so I was sort of saying, yeah, this bit, yeah, frame rate. Very smooth with the camera. It gets a bit choppy in that. But yeah, I think I'll sort that because that does give me a little bit of sickness a little bit there. Just doing it back and forth constantly in that, so... Anywho, here at the PGA, obviously you don't own this net. But to obviously purchase it, it will cost you 25 grand, so... BGA, 25 grand for BGA is not too bad. And this is where you can put your fermented alfalfa in, and all of that. So recipes and that are exactly the same for your... Basically, these are all sage and that, in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, so I think, what was it? Horse grass, hay. Yeah, that is a very profitable one. But yeah, sage and that, just chuck it in here, get your digestive in that. Electric and methane is also packed in salt, but for 25 grand, I can't really argue with that, especially when you got these bunker sides and that. And I think the actual plot of land is ain't that bad, badly priced, so if we have a look. 27 grand for the land in that, so. Obviously, you say I've gone and purchased everything. Yeah, so again. Okay, you can sell the BGA in that. But I don't think that BGA is. as a production, because yeah, I had a look at the production, so that's why I didn't show the build mode. Because yeah, build mode is. yeah, just. is what it is, but. so yeah. Just be careful when removing stuff because, yeah, especially the BGA. Keep the BGA because you can do the custom props and that. But anyways, head out of here. Oh, nope. That's a parking space. Now, it just looks like totally the grass and that. Or, yeah, like some real marks and that. So, now heading out of here. Another collectible net. Put your head out of here, and then yeah, really head up to the store now. 
I think rather than you know, doing jump cuts now, let's just take in the view now. So, again, I don't know how to badger on about it. It's an absolute stunning map, beautiful and gorgeous. And really, is up there, you know, with the top British maps at least, let alone top maps in FS22 in general. But yeah, so Allen ship is just here. The icon is around about. Was it here now? Oh no, it was here on this side, it was. There we go, got a box and that. But even with frame rate issues and that, things like that doesn't really phase me in that. You know, if I'm like playing on the map in general, just, yeah. Obviously, if you're doing the concept back and forth, back and forth, and like I said, be doing front of the map or doing like 360s and that, then yeah, it does get a bit, uh, oh, what's the word, uh, drowsy and that, drowsy and a bit sicky fight and that. But yeah, just sort of play the map as it is and that. Yes, I know it's not record friendly, but I've got to say, it's an absolute British, <laughs> absolute British, an absolute Southern British map. And there's another thing here that you know, different D ship, rather than you know Clark's Motors or whatever it is, rather than you know having Klaus or John Deere, Case D ship, which is the F softer than that. We've got a new Holland D ship in that, so this is giving me inspiration for my live stream. Let's play on this. But yeah, so I've gone and you know accepted the contract and that, so this is gonna be spawn point and reset point. So yeah, there is plenty of space. So how I would do something like this, because the header is on this side, so I'll go on. So decent space over here to turn around. Oh yeah, also workshop and that is just here and that. Also you do have your interior lights and exterior lights, so exterior lights is just there. And interior lights is just here, so. Again, I like how it's all done that, especially, you know, when you go into the store itself and that, you know, so, for example, let's go to the store and that, it's actually the store in the map and that, so, as you can see the outside, you, know, you can sort of vaguely see bits and that, but yeah, overall it's not too bad, and I forgot to go over this, but I'll quickly go over it now, so, Aussie Onions is a thing, so you do have... The onions, things that supports the onions and that, and things that you use to plant horse grass, and that actually is a weeder as well. So you do have a custom, of uh, sorry, a few custom items and that. Obviously, in terms with working with and stuff and that. So yeah, get the onion one. Do you know what are these ambar one? But yeah, I thought, yeah, just quickly check, you know, to make sure there's no unrealistic capacities in that. So, nope. Fair enough. So let's go and get rid of that. And that. Thank you very much. But yeah, back onto the combine that. So, actually with this, it is pretty easy on how this spawns that. Because it's the... It spawns from this side, then works way across. So if you purchase the combines in that... Personally, I recommend you know do it like this way now. So combines and that spawn here, because then yeah, it makes life so much easier. I think this header will just snap on in that, so you can do it cockeyed in that. Yes, and then yes, yeah, so it breaks itself. So in regards to transporting, personally, I recommend using a tractor in that. But as I do my sort of wrap up in that, we'll use the combine in that. And also for you know, during the crops and that, again, I apologise for not mentioning this and that, so... Obviously, with the premium DLC, you get that. And then yeah, planters and that will do your onions, peas, lentils, beans... I think, oh, what's that stringy one between the cotton and beans, that? What's the stringy one, so... Ah, oh, silage sorghum. So yeah, we'll go back to our uh, shop in that, so... Have a look, and yeah, so pretty much everything can be done with a drill in that. 
And even you know the Prem software can do it, so fair enough. But yeah, I think I may not show you no know, the different crops and that when the harvesting that because it is actually yeah, I think I may tap to a few places and that so things like onion. I don't think onion is grown on the map. Nope. Buckwheat. There we go, we've got buckwheat up here and that on 103. So is that growing or right harvest? That is growing, so you know, actually yeah, I do like the look of these and that, but yeah, I think yeah, the match horse get long enough and all yeah, long enough now. Do apologize for not showing it in full nap, but got to need to wrap this up to get this one you get the video nap because it's almost midnight now or just got midnight so but yeah so as I do my wrap up now let's sort of demonstrate some of the issues you may have now so we're actually where we're talking so we'll go to the main farm now so yeah we'll turn left out of here oh so yeah so quickly clear the traffic because that's my poor positioning. Obviously, you know, transporting you know, combines like this, I do recommend going to first POV in that. Not just because of the immersion that which I'll still get rid of that help menu. Yeah, not just because of the immersion. It does make life so much easier though to transport that. <coughs> but anyway, so overall wrap up in that as a Spartan map tour sort of give you know my final thoughts and conclusion of mapping that the rating I'll give it it's so close to being a 5 out of 5 in that so yeah it's close to being a 5 out of 5 but I do have to be fair and yeah overall I'll give the rating a 4.5 out of 5 stars in that and the reason why it's losing that half star is the little things you know not being as worker friendly in that Things like the hedgerows and that, not being able to be removed and that, the collisions and that. I'm not one of those people who's going to kick up a major fuss over that. Things like that. I'll take it as I get it with maps like that, because at the end of the day, I guarantee you that. Just double checking we've still got the header in that. And I've overshot where I want to go, so... we go into this field over here. Again, important on position in that. Obviously, if you don't steal this, there is a Sony CRX mod in that, that you can use. I think it's like a 7 meter header in that, so it's like smaller than normal, but it does the job. And then, yeah, don't have to deal with something like this. There we go, because you always turn around a sec. But anyway, it's back on to my final force in that. Actually, do we have this field here, actually? Well, what is this field over here? This is Trit Cow, so that is ready to harvest, right? Yeah, that's ready to harvest, so yeah, we purchase that. Minor correction there, since yeah, that was a contracted equipment, so yeah, we're harvesting the Trit Cow and yeah, do get a shrew swath. But yeah, so back on to my final thoughts and conclusion. Yeah, it's four and a half out of five. Yeah, again, as I already mentioned, things like the AI worker issues and that. And just yeah, but overall it's an absolute stunning and beautiful map, especially with all the new crop types and that. Decent light lighting as well, by the looks of it as well. Haven't replayed it too much in that. But yeah, lighting is good in that. Yeah, the only thing I said in this hand is the AI worker issue. Apart from that, I can't really fold it too much in that, because yeah, again, it's got the custom crops and that. Things like, you know, hedgerows and that, and collisions. RAF again. Yeah, RAF is feet flying over. But, yeah, so I'll sort of say, yeah. Things just like, it brings a good immersion to the map. Things like the realistic craft buildings, how everything is so interwoven together and that, you know. It does feel like, yeah, it feels like a good old British map, it does. That is definitely. Is it the best British map? So, if it's the best British map, you've got to compare it to, you know, things like Court Farm, Comson Farm by Auction David. Technically orange as well. Uh, have an argument about that uh, little thing over there, but yeah, compared to by spring that, so if 
Fine thing to compare this to by Spring, just based on what I played on it thus far, touring the map and that. I've got to say, this tops out by Spring, if not matches it at the very least. It is very close in that. Does it beat, you know, my favourite map? Um, court form that. Yeah, a bit biased there, maybe, because it's so local to me. It's very close. It's very close to being court form that. And, but does it beat it? At the end of the day, I'm not sure of that. It's a subjective thing at the end of the day. But yeah, so, such from that, I recommend this map very much in that. Only if you had this map out a lot sooner in the game than that, but it is what it is in that. Bump there, was it? Oh, I think I hit a tree, now, that's why. But yeah, these crop types and that, I do love that, and I love to play more and explore it a lot more. Detail may do another video, but I've got videos up in mind. I've got to do the mod review for today's mods and that. That's going to come out in the morning at some point. Also, I've got Rax and Riches ready to be uploaded onto my PC and that, and then find the tweaks on that to get it edited properly. Uh, also, why have I got a uh, 10,000 calorie challenge? I'll do a fine bit of recording for the next episode, and that's already done. So, yeah, I've got a lot of things to do now, but live streams out will be coming soon on this map. But, anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the button, click the down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.